Hello everyone, this is part one of my creating a sneaker bot in Python tutorial. In this episode, we will look into generating a URL uh, based on a model number and a shoe size. And to do that, we'll need to find the pattern that Adidas uses to generate their URLs. So what I'm doing right here is I am going to add two different shoes, both of which are going to be size 7, because I know adidas.com displays the full URL of the shoes you have in your cart, so you can go and access it at a later time. These are two different model numbers, but both size 7. So now we're going to transition over to my cart on adidas.com and I'm going to open the URLs into a different tab. We can take a look at them, compare, and see the similarities between the two. So there's really no good way of doing this other than to just visually take a look and see if you can find a pattern between the two. So to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to open both of the URLs into a text processor and I'm going to try to see if I can find a pattern between... So I have both of them opened up right here and we can pretty clearly see where the model number is in the URL. This is step one of finding the pattern, and if we're able to see that, then we can pretty easily reconstruct the URL of the other one. So I can see that Adidas URLs have the model number two different times, and then they have an underscore, and then the same number on both of these size 7 shoes. That number is the size. So right here, I just added a 1 to the URL to try to see if that returned a valid size, and it didn't. Since that didn't work, I'm just going to add another size and see if I can find the difference in between those two codes. And by finding these differences, we may be able to determine what code Adidas uses to generate their URLs. And we can use this knowledge to generate our own URLs and not have to go to the Adidas search results page to find a link to a product that we want to buy. You can see that size 8 shoes end in a 610, while size 7 shoes end in a 590. So that's a 20 digit difference, but we're not accounting for a size 7.5. So if you know anything about sneakers, you know that there's generally a half size in between the two. 7 to a size 8 is actually two size increases. And we know that Adidas needs to create URLs for those half sizes as well as the full sizes. So that would indicate that that 20 digit difference is actually a 10 point difference in between sizes. So by comparing those size codes, we can determine that Adidas increases the code by 10 each size increase. So we can make the assumption that a size 13 would be 20 higher than a size 12. So at the moment, we know that Adidas has the model number twice in the URL, and then they have their size code that increases by 10 for each size increase on the page. So we can use this information to create a URL generator in Python. Right here, I'm just adding a comment into the program with the URL that we'll be basing the generator's URL on. This is not really necessary, but I think it helps with writing the program. Then right here, we're going to make a new function, and we're going to call it URL Gen. And this is going to be the function that creates the URL. I'm going to be adding in a model variable and a size variable that we'll be defining later on in the program. Now we're going to be adding in a base size of 580. This is the code for the shoe size 6.5, which is going to be our starting point for generating the shoe size URL code. Now because we set that base size, we're now going to define shoe size as the size minus 6.5. Now we're going to be changing the shoe size variable to 20 times that of the original shoe size variable, and we're going to be adding that number to the 580 code that we set at the beginning. This is our raw size code. Now we're going to convert that into an integer, and that's going to generate the code that Adidas uses to display the size in the URL. Now we're going to implement the template of the URL that we found earlier in the video and we're going to put it into the generator for the program. We discovered earlier that the Adidas website uses the model number two times and then the size code and we've been able to generate that size code so it's going to be fairly easy to generate a URL. Now we're simply going to return the URL that we generated so we can use it outside of this function. Now we're going to be defining our variables as a raw input for the model number as it's a string and then a regular input for the shoe size as it's just an integer. Now we're going to call that function with those variables and we're going to simply print the URL out. Then we should have a fully working Adidas URL generator created in Python. Let's see if it works.
And it does. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to implement this into your Python Adidas bot and how to continue creating one if you don't know much about Python. And as always, if you see something that you think could have been done more efficiently in this video, please let me know. I'm still learning Python, and this is just as much of a learning experience for me as it is for you. Please let me know if you have any questions. Rate, comment, and subscribe.